I'm Andres. I'm Sean. I'm tall. I'm taller. I'm handsome. And I'm handsomer. We are different. But eh, neither of us is better than one another. <clears throat> We're just different. Eh? Just We're like, just different. Just like steel string guitars and nylon string guitars. Just like almond milk and... Coconut milk? <laughs> Wait, soy we, milk? You already said a punch Cashew line. milk? <laughs> I should have stopped when you said that. You probably should have, but anyways, we're gonna continue. Huh? <laughs> Steel string versus nylon guitars. Some of the differences. Why you might, you know, prefer one over the other. Correct. So, steel string guitar. This is a steel string guitar. This is a nylon string guitar. So, you can maybe already tell some of the tonal differences between them. Now, there are a lot of variations within them. This is a Taylor GA3. That is a Cordova C7. These are kind of similar body shape and size guitars. So this is kind of why we chose these as an example. Kind of just talk about a little bit of the differences of them. Correct. So the, the number one difference is the type of strings you put on these. Correct. Okay. Steel string guitars, I think are kind of the standard acoustic guitar. In the United States. Okay, yeah, great. Excellent uh, yeah. distinction. In uh, mm -hmm. in Mexico and a lot of Latin countries, mm -hmm. uh, the choice to go is like... It's, it's nylon guitar. Nylon. Yeah, for sure. Like he, did, he just had like eight <laughs> shots of espresso, by the way. <laughs> so. uh, by the way, never do that. I mean, I, I, I was trying to set up the camera. I, that took me a while. Yeah, so. it's okay. So get that coffee. Too power, much power on, uh huh? Yeah. yeah, so now let's start shredding. <laughs> Yeah, but if you have if you have no idea what nylon strings are, like I didn't when I first started out, I started on acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. Nylon string was something I just came to. You'll notice, like, wow, nylons are easier to play. Yeah, yeah. as far as like on your fingers, they are they are smoother, mm -hmm. especially when you are, are learning and you don't have calluses on your fingers. So um, if you're pressing against something with a part of the body that you usually don't use for that then you definitely notice that it hurts, it's sore after like playing for a uh, you remember, an hour. You remember how bad it would hurt sometimes? Yeah, when yeah. I started when I was yeah. 12 and it, it would hurt like a lot and and, uh, and I was playing nylon so mm -hmm. I know that steel can be even hotter in your fingers. You mm -hmm. know? So That's why I, per I do personally like the coated strings which helps with that too. Yeah. But also one question is like, what should I start off if I'm just beginning? A lot of beginners choose a nylon guitar for that very reason. For that very reason. I don't necessarily think that's a right or wrong choice. No. But it's really just it what you want to play. And not only what you want to play, also what you want to sound like. Because as you can tell, the sound is quite different. Brighter sound. Mm -hmm. And this is... Or deeper sound. Yeah, exactly. And again, there are different types of strings you can use for a darker sound between each model, stuff like that. Exactly. But that's just kind of it. Another thing about nylon string guitars is most of them are tie end as compared to ball end Correct. strings. A ball, and that has to do with the bridge, right? You see, the, these have bridge pins <laughs> that tie the balls down so you can't pull them out. Uh, in other words, like you can set this up in under a minute, yeah. or you can take like 10 minutes and put this on. Yeah, you have time so. on. And nylon strings take a little bit longer to stretch out. Yeah. Right? That's why I would not change the strings on my nylon the day of a gig. Correct. Because it takes them, how long does it take to break in, would you say? It takes like two, three days. And even the third day, you still have to keep retuning. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But you just think of the tension that it really, each string is really pulling this part of the guitar this way a lot so yeah even on some nylon string guitars they have friction tuners uh, instead of like the actual like mechanical ones too so there are a lot of different kind of you know ways in between each of them yeah i mean uh, one tip i can give them is when you tune your guitar and you're gigging the same day try to tune it like a whole step higher and then come back later and tune it again another whole step really okay higher. and then when you're ready for your gig this is what i learned from my from from my teacher you like grab your string, put your mute your string with your with your left hand, and then and then kind of pull your string a little like this, and then tune it, and do it again like three times each string. Mm -hmm. You pull it a little, and then you and that will help. Yeah, it which you can do the same thing on a, on a steel string guitar. That's right. That's Another thing that makes us different is generally I'm playing with a pick, and usually play with Correct. nails. Correct. Which playing with with long finger nails or acrylics is something that is more commonly associated with nylon guitars. Not that you can't do the same thing with steel. You strings. can do it too, uh, but uh, 
definitely for the way I play, if I do that on a steel string guitar, yeah, my nails will be gone, especially I have thinner nails. So my nails will be gone after the gig, like I'll have no nails, you know, they will break. Nails? On this, uh -huh. yes. And with this one, they're way smoother than your nails, so you can like, you can do this with my nail. If I try to do that here, my index nail will break. But that's do, why it's nice it. playing with a pick, because then you kind of get an approximation of that. Correct. Now again, playing with it, we have another video on just kind of like why you might want to use grow out your fingernails for whatever kind of guitar playing yeah. that you do. But that also has an effect on the tone. Now let's talk, so let's do that same thing again where it's just an E from a, to a C to a D, right? Together. And now you do it. Huh? Now let's switch, okay? Just so you can kind of hear the real benefit. Now, same thing with the pick. And I'm also gonna do a thing. It almost sounds like I'm playing with a pick, but that's because I am using yeah. my finger now. Exactly. Now, I have been known to play certain shows with nylon guitars the whole way through, and I'll play it with a pick. Some people are like, what are you doing playing a nylon string guitar with a pick? Totally doable. You can, it's fine, you know it's what I mean? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. it works. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, definitely. If you're gonna be playing more classical guitar or flamenco, I mean, it's, uh... It just sounds better with a nylon string. Sure, guitar. and specifically flamenco guitar. This is more of like a classical nylon guitar. You can tell yeah. by the body shape is thicker. The flamenco ones have a thinner cut, generally speaking, right? They kind of have a thinner, shallower body, I yeah. suppose. Is like one thing. Yeah. So you know, what what do you want to start on if you're a beginner? Like, yeah, exactly. For uh, for me, definitely because because when I started, I liked finger. Finger style guitar. Sure. I like classical guitar, trova, which is a genre that it's uh, it uses a lot of classical guitar techniques from Latin America, trova mm -hmm. in Cuba. Yeah. That was the goal that you had. And, and as so a I, that was my goal. So I wanted to play a nylon string. Plus, mm -hmm. that's what they play the most uh, in Mexico. Um, but however, when I started strumming and playing rock songs, I just wanted the feel of uh, and the sound, the brightness of a steel string. Oh, I just shine. love the brightness mm -hmm. of, uh, of that song. You want to switch? Please. It's so unnatural holding the nylon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, not to say that you can't play finger style on a steel yeah. string. Again, it's, it's whatever you want to do. One, the, none of them are better than the other. I hear a lot of people saying, well, if you're going to start off, start off on a nylon string. I think that's wrong. You know, yeah. if, if, if you want to play classical flamenco style, like then definitely. If like the people you are trying to base your playing after play nylon, go with a nylon. But don't like shy away from a steel string because yeah. you know the best thing to do is to like go with whatever you know. Like if you are just starting, if you only know one chord, it doesn't matter. Go into a store, try both, and see mm -hmm. what you like better, what feels better in your in your right hand, what feels better in your left hand. But I can give you a quick sample of uh, acoustic uh, flamenco Spanish guitar Please do. in both, and you can compare uh, right. the sound. You know? I'm here. So, so let me do it, this one because it's usually done in, on the nylon string, but okay. I want them to see the steel string first. Mm -hmm. No. Sounds great. So you do great. the same thing note by note? Not really, but... <laughs> Ish. So I think you can hear a lot of the higher strings, they kind of pop a little more huh? Correct. On, on a classical, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah no, I mean, uh, it's, it's just a deeper, warmer sound, which is what is used uh, to play this kind of music. And I mean, it's like trying to use a banjo to play a uh, guitar solo, I mean, it, you know what I mean? Like, sure, yeah. that's the kind of music that, that's the kind of guitar that requires that kind of music, mm -hmm. so. Another thing that you will notice is probably the width of the fretboard. Generally, nylon string guitars have a wider fretboard wider. and maybe a shallower neck. Yeah, you know, again, Some, something else to, to notice too. Yeah, exa exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, 
having a thinner neck profile in, in a, you can use your finger, your thumb a lot. Yeah. And for uh, American want... music, that's used a lot. John Mayer. Yeah, if you want to do some John Mayer. Yeah. Exactly. He uses it's the it's thumb a lot. And now, and now when you're learning classical guitar, you're told to actually not use the thumb. You're told to keep it behind the, Boom, the neck. Boom, in the middle to kind of Keep it in the middle. It. So it's like different techniques, yeah. you know? Well, and if you wanted it. to use your thumb on this guitar, it's just awkward because it's... You can, but it's actually Sure, it's, it's, it takes a bigger yeah. reach. And with this one, it's way easier. Yeah, so they are designed to be played a little differently. A lot of times, you know, you'll see classical players have them up like this, so they can kind of balance yeah. a little better with their, their thumb on the back of the neck. There are differences, but again, the long story short, use them both, whatever. They have different tones, they have different things, but anything you can do on one, you can do on the other. Don't be afraid of trying a nylon string. If a steel string is your thing, don't be afraid of trying Don't be afraid, string. don't be afraid. Uh -huh. And uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of strumming, uh, this uh, the steel string sounds kind of brighter yeah. than the nylon. So it depends on what are your needs and what you like too. Like, what is it that you like? Talk what kind of music you like. you like? What do you like? You know what I like? I like your YouTube channel, Andreas. You like my YouTube channel? I like your YouTube channel. Mostly the videos that I'm in. Those are the ones that I'm more interested in. Really? For sure. Yeah. That's funny because those are the yeah. videos. That I have a lot of views on. Yeah, I know. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's this face right here that gets people to <laughs> just send it, go over there, click well, over there. Yeah, honestly, last the first time I did a video with Sean Daniel in, for his channel, Oof. I got like 700 subscribers and thank you guys. And then the second video I did with you, I got like a thousand three hundred subscribers. So thank and you guys. and growing. So it's it's unbelievable, you know. Uh, so I'm planning on doing uh, 1,200 videos, with, uh, yeah, 128 uh, videos with Sean. 128 videos. So, I can, this is so one I can get all his subscribers. <laughs> this is in our series. This is one of 128. That is correct. Uh -huh. But that's why let us know what you want to see us do in yeah. future videos. Because exactly. again, this guy's a beast. We're both gigging musicians. We have stories to tell. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, knowledge to share. Yeah, and laughs to be and, had. And we are happy to share what we. Laughs to be had. That's what we do. You, you don't, you don't we keep laugh. secrets from people. No. Nah. No. Nah. Music is meant to be shared. And we laugh a lot. We have great laughs. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I have, I have. You have more of a darker nylon laugh, and I have more of like a brighter steel, higher pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Different laughs. None of them are better than each other. Anyways. Check this guy out. Any questions, let us know in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, the website. Talk to you later. That sounded flimsy, right? Yeah, impressive, wasn't it? Check this out. Uh. Huh? You like that? A minor. Don't, don't patronize me with that smile. <laughs> I'm a flamingo player.